Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the tech show about hacking. I was reading this article that went over uh, the dark websites. It explored dark websites. So in this video, I'm going to go over 25 dark websites that I feel is worth knowing, that you should know. So we're, it's going to be rapid. We're going to get right into it, okay? 25, let's get right into it. We're going dark. Just want to say this, caution, safety first. When it comes to visiting dark web links, if you choose to visit the dark web, you must take necessary measures to protect your privacy and security. This includes using anonymous web browser like Tor, a VPN to encrypt your connection, and antivirus for protection against malware, and generally being careful not to reveal personal information. Okay? Okay, we're starting at 1. We're going to reach 25. It's going to be quick, okay? Number 1, DuckDuckGo. DuckDuckGo is the most popular private search engine. Unlike other search engines, it does not collect or share personal data. Luckily, it is also available on the surface web. It is an excellent option if you want to surf the web anonymously, even without monitoring your browser activities. DuckDuckGo will offer decent answers to your questions. You can also use it on the dark web as it has dot onion links. It will offer you an additional layer of privacy and anonymity to access the deep parts of the internet. Number two, we have the hidden wiki. Okay, the hidden wiki. The hidden wiki is a good way to start accessing the dark web. It is the dark web's version of Wikipedia with a massive links directory. You will find all the necessary dot onion links to access any content or service on the dark web. However, you have to be careful with the links you click. Since Hidden Wiki maintains all kinds of websites, ensure you don't open something you don't want to see. For example, it has a reputation for a lot of bad things, okay? Moreover, due to its popularity, many copycats of the Hidden Wiki exist. So don't be surprised if you encounter different versions of that site. Number three, Daniel. Daniel is another excellent way to explore the dark web. It hosts over 7,000 dot onion categorized links to make surfing the web easier for you. One of Daniel's impressive features is the built-in functionality that shows whether a particular dark website is online. That means you won't need to open and load every listed link to confirm if it works. It is an excellent feature considering the Tor browser has longer loading times than regular browsers. Number four, ProPublica. ProPublica is a popular online publication that won five Pulitzer in 2016. It aims to expose abuses of power and betrayal of public trust through investigative journalism. The website is available on the surface web and has a .onion site, which means you can visit the site anonymously, especially if you live under an oppressive regime. ProPublica covers all the controversial stories from corrupt politicians child labor, both in English and Spanish. Number five, Sci-Hub. Sci-Hub is a massive database that eliminates the barriers to getting scientific knowledge. It contains millions of scientific research documents from around the world. The site seeks to liberate information by making it free to individuals and institutions. It aims to advance research on terminal illnesses like cancer with access to all unbiased scientific publications. However, the site has suffered outages in the past, so the site location might change frequently. Number six, hidden answers. This is the dark web's version of Quora or Reddit. You can ask whatever you want without getting censored. It may look abandoned at first, but the community members will answer your questions. However, that part of the internet is unfiltered, so you might encounter unpleasant conversations. If you are new to the dark web, here is a great place to learn about it. Okay, you can go on Google and do your own research, okay? Number seven, SirX. SirX is a meta search engine that you can use on the surface and dark web. It does not share IP addresses or search history to protect your privacy. In addition, it blocks tracking cookies to prevent user profiling based results. Your queries will be submitted through HTTPS posts to avoid keywords from appearing in the web server logs. The best part is that you can search for detailed queries. It allows you to search for images, maps, files, videos, social media posts, and much more. 
Number eight, Facebook on the inside. Although Facebook is known for collecting every data on its platform, it does not like sharing the information with others. The social media giant is also aware of that of the many attempts by repressive regimes to restrict its access. After all, it enables users to connect and communicate with each other from around the world. Therefore, it is not surprising that Facebook has a dot onion portal. Unfortunately, it does not improve your privacy but only allows you to access the platform in restricted countries number nine secure drop secure drop is a dark web link where whistleblowers can share information with journalists safely the dark web allows whistleblowers to communicate with journalists without being tracked in most cases whistleblowers have sensitive information about the government or company they can be easily traced and even prosecuted if they share the information on the surface web. Secure Drop is the best onion site on the dark web that protects the privacy of journalists and whistleblowers. Currently, Secure Drop's dot onion website is not available. However, many news organizations and publishers have set up their own Secure Drop URLs to leverage anonymous whistleblowers' um, power. Number 10, BBC Tor Mirror. In some countries such as China and North Korea, the government uses heavy online censorship and blocks many sites. For example, the BBC website is not accessible in such countries. This is not where the Tor comes in handy. The BBC News website has a special dot onion site which you can access on the dark web. Its goal is to offer anonymous access to the content without being censored no matter where you live. The good news is that the BBC Onion site is an international edition. As a result, it does not only focus on the UK but also provides worldwide news. 11. Tor Metrics. The Tor Metrics is a good place to get more information about the Tor project. It collects data from the public Tor network and archives historical data of the Tor ecosystem. This service is a good source of statistics if you have a good school project requiring research on Tor and the dark web. However, note that the site only uses non-sensitive and public data for the metrics. The goal of anonymity and privacy privacy network like Tor is not to engage in the extensive collection of data. However, data is required for understanding, monitoring, and improving the network. Furthermore, data will help to detect attacks against the network and possible censorship events. 12. ProtonMail. ProtonMail is a Swiss-based email service that is very easy to use. It has end-to-end -end encryption to protect your conversations. In fact, you are not required to provide your personal information to create an account. The email service is available both on the surface and dark web. <clears throat> Using the Proton.onion site offers security and privacy advantages. Moreover, the company also uses HTTPS and SSL encryption on the Onion site for extra protection. This makes it even harder for third parties to see your email traffic. 13. RiseUp. RiseUp is a top dark website that offers secure emailing services and a chat option. It was created in 1999 as a secure communication platform for people and groups working on liberatory social change. The platform is protected from government interference and malicious attacks to protect the user. In addition, it, in addition, it ensures no record of communication is stored. Unfortunately, it requires you to have an invitation code to create an account. This means that you have to know someone who is already using the platform. Even without the code, you can visit the security section to get tips on improving your daily life privacy. 14. SecMail. SecMail is one of the most popular online, I mean popular email services on the dark web. The downside is that it limits data to only 25 Mbps per user. While this is not much compared to standard email services, it is enough for PGP encrypted messages. 15. Archive.today, formerly known as Archive.is, it is one of the best onion, on, onion sites on the dark web. It aims to preserve the internet's scientific and cultural heritage. Established in 2012, the platform acts as a time capsule for websites by collecting web page snapshots. These sites will remain online even if the original page disappears. It also keeps the graphical copy and text of the page for better accuracy. This is the best place to get short and reliable links to an unalterable record of any web page. Mail 16 MailPal. MailPal is a secure email service that aims to keep your emails completely private. Despite encrypting your emails, it allows you to store your emails safely without sharing them in the cloud. 
Another significant advantage of MailPal is that its code is open source. This means anyone can access it, which helps to detect vulnerabilities before malicious actors take advantage. The MailPal.onion site can download information anonymously from any server or web service like Gravatar. It can also send or download emails without getting classified as spam or exit nodes spying on sensitive data. 17. Blockchain.info Cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin have been the dark web currency even before they became available on the general public. Right now, there are many cryptocurrency.onion sites you can use to buy or sell all types of cryptocurrencies. Blockchain was one of the first sites to launch the dark, on the dark web. It even has an HTTP security certificate for even better protection. This site was created to provide additional security and eliminate cryptocurrency theft. 18. Zerobin. Zerobin is a wonderful way to share the content you find on the dark web. It is a reliable messaging tool where you copy slash paste a text or image and send it to your addressee. The good news is that the platform will not see what you copy slash paste. The your data is encrypted in the Tor browser before researching the Zerobin servers. Also, you can see a strong password to protect your message and choose how long it will take to expire. So this is a secure and anonymous communication tool. 19. Wasabi Wallet Wasabi is one of the most popular cryptocurrency wallets on the dark web. It has a feature known as CoinJoin that combines multiple coins from different users into a single transaction. This makes it extremely difficult to find out who you are transacting with. Another notable security trick Wasabi uses to verify transactions is the Neutrino protocol. It assigns a task to the client instead of the server, eliminating any server-related vulnerability. 20. Imperial Library. The Imperial Library is a dark website with a wide range of digital books. Here you can get almost any publication you want. At the moment, it has over 500,000 books in its library. However, you should be careful to avoid copyright infringement. 21. Comic Book Library. If you love comics, this is the right place to be. The Dot Onion site has thousands of downloadable comic books ranging from niche titles to mainstream ones. Like with the Imperial Library, you should be aware of copyright infringement. 22. Tunnels. This Dot Onion site is a bit different from the others reviewed above. It contains a link showing the exploits of explorers who enter big American universities tunnel systems. However, accessing these tunnels is illegal and dangerous. That is why the explorers post their content on the dark web rather than the surface web. 23. Deep Web Radio. Look no further if you want good music while navigating the dark web. Deep Web Radio is a digital station with a wide variety of music. There are over 20 channels with different music genres. 24. Key Bass. Key Bass is a fantastic onion site that lets you cryptographically bring your different online identities together. You only need to upload your PGP key or let the platform create one. Use it to link your GitHub account, Twitter, Bitcoin address, and Facebook. This dot onion link makes it impossible for hackers to impersonate your profile. 25. This is the last one. And then this video is over. The CIA, this, the U.S. Navy main reason for creating Tor was to help informants relay information safely over the Internet. In the same spirit, the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, established a dot onion site to help people access its resources worldwide, anonymously and securely. Those were the 25 dark websites that were explored. Uh, what do you think about them? Is there anything I missed? I want to know your opinion. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification button. I love you. Stay safe. See you on the next video.